So if we're using Jasper Gold, we're going to write some properties in order to check that our behavior is correct. And those checks are being derived from the verification plan. The reasoning we're going to apply here doesn't necessarily only apply to formal. You could make similar arguments for simulation, like you know, if I've got a constrained random stimulus test bench, which is coverage driven, you know, our, our goal is to fill coverage. How do we know that the coverage is correct? So you can point to anything and say that might be wrong. So how can we be certain they cover all the required functionality? Now you do have some help from the tool. It's not it's not like the tool tells you nothing. So a formal tool, we could get reported, for example, that every I.O. and every flip-flop is covered in the fanning cone of some assertion and was actually used effectively using something called proof core in Jasper Gold. So this does not mean we have written enough properties there, however, to cover all functionality, even if the metrics we get from this tool tell us yes, everything has been covered. Just in the same sense that if we got code coverage, it doesn't tell us we've got complete functional verification. So here's an example of the schematic we've got here. Those are the requirements. And this is a property set we hope will check all behaviors of the design. At first inspection, these look like a perfectly reasonable set of properties to write. So for example, this property here, I say if I've got A or B on the next cycle, OP1 should be true. That would appear to check this OR gate and this flip-flop here. And likewise for the other outputs. However, there might be human error or oversight that mean we didn't capture that behavior correctly. The, the intended check is not specified correctly. So in this example, for P2, it says not A or not B implies that OP2 is true the next cycle. Now notice for OP2, A does not appear in the fanning cone for that. A has no influence over what OP2 is doing. However, it just so happens, and we can check this by looking at the truth table if we wish, that property will always hold, i.e. always be true. So even though the tool might tell us that all IOs are flip-flops are included in some assertion and that there is no branches of code which can't be reached and all checks pass and all cover items pass, i.e. 100% coverage in the context of no checks failing, which I said was the end of verification, we still haven't verified our design correctly due to human error, which the tool can't report to us. Okay, so the question is that what do we do about that then?